I need it. I need it. If it goes from here to two people, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, it probably matters to me. But it doesn't matter to me because if you're here, you're seeing the best. You're seeing the best of games. Is that a bird? <laughs> Fucking A. That's the way to do it, motherfucker. That's a free bird right Thank there. you. Free, free bird right there. If anybody calls that out, it's already been done. Suck you my titties. Worry. I will suck bird. your titties. I, can, I will suck your titties. We'll do whatever it takes to entertain this fucking... You know, whatever it takes. You know? And then you? Is that what you're saying? Jesus Christ. Let's line up for some titty sucking. Let's get this open mic show. Let's get this show on the road. You know, I didn't come... Hey, I didn't come to the university club to not get my titties sucked. Alright? So... Now... Having said that... And I'm sorry that any of that was said, but having said all of that, which we did, and now we have to live with it. Having said all of that, pretty funny shit, right? Thank you, thank you. And now having, having said all of that, let's continue with the fucking shoe. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, Occupy Pancakes, if you don't know what it is, I'm sorry Marvel isn't here, that would've been cool. If you don't know what it is, it's very simple. Build your own house punk party. I recommend it to everybody. It used to be that there were parties all over this town. Punk parties. Doesn't even have to be punk music. Here's what you do. You invite your friends to play music. You get a bunch of beer or a keg. You say anyone can come. And then you just have a good time until the cops show up. And if the cops show up, you win. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. If the cops don't show up, you win. If the cops show up and smoke your dang weed and drink your beer, you also win. Now ladies and gentlemen, etc. Everybody be quiet now, especially that loud three there in the middle. No, John can talk. John's allowed to talk. There's nobody else. Shh. All right, everybody calm down. Just, just calm your fucking little asses down. I'm titillating. Speak for If you're titillating, it shouldn't sound like talking. It should sound like... And then at some point, something should go... And then the other person goes, what the fuck was that? What is this in my mouth? What happened? It sounded like dick. <laughs> There's always somebody who will take it further than you. I like to think of myself as a badass at grossing people out, but then this guy, this guy arrives. Right, I'm glad you're here. You make the show. I love you. going very well with the show. And now, ladies and gentlemen, heading to this idea of pancakes. Here's somebody who has performed at pancakes, and he's really fucking funnier than me. So give him your attention. And you two, you people in the back, cheap seats, not you, I'm talking, I'm going to introduce you. You can, you can talk over the act. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only. Shit, the mic is the, the mic is done. Hang on, hang on. I prepared for this. I have to have a comedy microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the extraordinary Houston Wells. Good enough? Dude, you don't know me. You don't know what kind of day I've had. 
I might have taken my last ounce of energy and positivity to give you that first woo. And now you tell me that I don't measure up to some fucking arbitrary standard of enthusiasm for you? You don't have to take it, people. I'm here to tell you, you don't have to take it. You're welcome. It's a little wisdom for the game. It's too long. I don't know what that means. It's too long, Wells. Don't have to take it. You guys, you want to know a secret? I'm going to tell you Cheryl's secret over here. Why, ladies? Sometimes, I go to the men's room, and I don't wash my hands afterwards. Yes! Yeah! But I come out one like this, so nobody knows. I'm just kidding. Or am I? You'll never know. Calm down, too long. So, uh, what else can I tell you? Really important shit. Um, what's better, dogs or cats? What's better, dogs or cats? Cats! Trick question, they're all delicious. Thank you. All right. So, uh, you know, uh, I, 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 my wife and I were terrible pet owners. We're bad pet owners. We had a dog that was doing this thing. He'd look up and shake his head at us. He'd look up and shake his head. Ever seen a dog do that before? And I was like, this dog's got ear marks, son of a bitch. So we did what any responsible pet owner would do. We ignored it. Right? And uh, then we said, fuck it. We took him to the vet. We said, the dog looks up at us and shakes his head. We think he's got ear mites. He, the vet checks him out and says, good news, no ear mites. Bad news, he's just constantly disappointed in you. And that's when he's shaking his head. No, we are not good pet owners. We didn't even get the dog neutered. We just make him wear a Nickelback t-shirt so nothing will fuck him. I'm going to share with you guys a little bad news in my life. Are we okay? Can we bring it down a little bit? I am suspicious. No, I'm 100% certain that my wife loves our dog more than she loves me. Just, just the level of, just the shit she says to the dog. She didn't say this stuff to me when we were dating. What kind of dog? A little. She wobbled, baby. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, well, I, I'm not as lovable. But she says, she's like, oh, are you doing okay? Come over here. You want a cookie? Come over here. Give me a kiss. Let me rub your belly. You feeling better? She never said that shit to me. I would kill for that sort of attention. Folks, look at what I do for fun. I stand in front of strangers just trying to get some validation, and she's at home right now talking to the dog like he's a fucking leader of some chihuahua cult. It's not cool. I have a feeling when that dog dies, she's just gonna be like, she's gonna be broke up. Like she's gonna do some sort of vision quest hike around the country just to find out who she is without the dog. When I die, I have a feeling she's gonna be like, who's hogging the coverage now, bitch? Go Long hair or short hair? No talking. The wife? <laughs> Bring it, bitch. I'm here for it. Come on, come on. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, tapeworm. I love, I love the closing of the act with the firecracker. Anybody play with fireworks when they were growing up? Yes. Did you ever read the instructions? This is all true. The instructions on the side of like a firecracker. It says, light fuse and get away. That's what it says in English. In Chinese, it's like a whole paragraph of shit. What are they telling the Chinese that they're not telling us? Because there's something a lot more warning there instead of just light views and get away. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Crazy shit. My, uh, my wife bought a curry co curry coffee, you know what I'm talking about, a curry coffee maker? And she sent me to the store to pick up some cake cups. And I wish she had sent me specifically to the grocery store because the people at Victoria's Secret were not amused. Cake cups, you got it. Okay. How you doing? I love that you know that. Um, quick question. Quick question, true or false? True or false? Those of you in the back. True or false? You can get a ticket for bicycling drunk. Yes. 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 True. False. True. True. 
true. It is true. It is true. You know what? I always wanted to get pulled over for unicycling drunk. What are they going to say to you? Do it. Touch your nose? Walk in a straight line? I'm riding a fucking unicycle drunk. There's nothing you can ask me to do that's more difficult than what you just stopped me from doing. You are dying to tell me something. Did you get a ticket for bicycling drunk? Is that what you're going to tell me? No, no. Oh, yeah, you do. They don't care unless you do something wrong. Not nobody cares. Nobody cares? The message I'm getting from you is nobody cares. Nobody gives a shit. Unless you do something wrong. Unless you do something wrong. By interrupting my show. You're totally right, dude. You are amazing. And I deserve that. I appreciate it. You guys, you have no idea. I'm so full of love for humanity. And I fucking love this room. Look at you guys. This is a wonderful space. It's Monday fucking night on a rainy Gainesville. Come on. Where else can you get this kind of love? You guys are awesome. Uh, let's see. I'm going to tell you one more thing. I'm going to get out of here. Um, you know, I'm... I'm a gentleman of a certain age. I'm a little bit older. Uh, and, um, you know, there's people complain about being old. But there's some good things about it, too. Because, like, you know what, I have, like, I have more money. It seems like when I was growing up in college and stuff, I was always scrounging for beer money. But now, if I want to buy some booze or something, I just do it. I just do it. Like, when I walk into the front door of the ABC liquor store, it's like that scene when they first enter Willy Wonka's factory. <laughs> There's the scotch, there's the rum, there's the cheap shit. Folks, you've been a lot of fun. My name is Houston Wells. Well, let's break John Miller back up to the stage. Houston Wells, everybody, give him a round of applause. I know that song, going into a beer store, a wine store, or a... I know that song. The cheap shit's over here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that for you. The cheap shit's over. Oh, fuck it. 